Hi guys, today I'm here with the next video in my Names from Famous Families series. And like I said in the last video, this video is going to be on names from the Ptolemy family. And the Ptolemies were the rulers of Egypt after Alexander the Great. And even though they were the rulers of Egypt, they were actually a Greek family. So a lot of these names are Greek in origin. And that being said, a lot of these names are also very, very out there, and I'm not sure how usable they would be in a modern speaking English society. Um, but I'm still going to go through them anyways, because I think they are so interesting. And I really, really love that we have the information of what people were naming their children 2000 years ago. I think that that is just amazing. So I'm going to go through the boys' names first, and a lot of these aren't that usable, but I still think they're really, really interesting. Obviously, the first name I'm going to talk about is the name Ptolemy. Ptolemy was the name of a number of kings in this family. It was a name that was passed from father to son. It's a Greek name, and it means warlike. The next name I have is Legos, and Legos is another Greek name, and it means hair. And this one I think would be a little bit more usable than Ptolemy, except it reminds me of Lego. The next name I have is Meliasier, and Meliasier is a very interesting sounding Greek name that means black land. The next name is definitely a guilty pleasure name for me. I really, really love the way this name sounds, and that is Lysimachus. And Lysimachus is a Greek name, and it means a loosening of battle. The next name is definitely usable, which is surprising. Um, this name is actually so usable that it's on the top 10 list um, in the US right now, and that is Alexander. And Alexander is a Greek name that means defender of the people. And I think that it is so crazy that a name that was popular 2000 years ago is still in the top 10 today. The next name I think is also usable, but you'd have to be a little bit brave to use it. And that is Helios. And Helios is a Greek name that means sun. I really, really like this name, but I do think you'd have to be adventurous to choose this name for your son. Then there is Theos. Theos is a Greek name that means God. I would personally recommend using Theo before you used Theos or Theodore maybe. Um, I think those names are a little bit more accessible than the name Theos. Then there is Caesarian, and this name is definitely not that usable, especially because it is a type of medical procedure now. Caesarian was the son of Cleopatra and Julius Caesar, and it's a variant of the name Caesar, um, which means hairy, so another strike against it. It doesn't have that great of a meaning. Then there is Lathiros, and Lathiros was the nickname of Ptolemy IV. It's also a kind of pea that is also known as the grass pea, and I have no idea why this was his nickname, but I thought it was kind of interesting, so I put it on the list. And the last boy's name I have is Soter, and Soter I think could be usable. I think it might make a nice middle name. It's a Greek name, and it means salvation. So for girls, there are a lot of very, very beautiful very exotic sounding names that I love, but I think that you would have to be very, very brave to use a lot of these names, including the first one, which is Articama. And Articama is so exotic and beautiful sounding to me, and that might have something to do with the fact that it is a Persian name, and it means righteous desire. Then there is Thais, and Thais is a lovely Greek name. It means Bandage. I think there would be so many pronunciation and spelling issues with this name though that I don't think it's very usable. The next name is definitely a guilty pleasure name for me and it's one that I might even consider putting on my favorites list and that is Eurydice. And Eurydice I think sounds so melodic and beautiful. It's a Greek name and it means wide justice. Another one I really like is Berenice, 
and Berenice means bringing victory and I think that meaning suits it because it does sound very very strong and um, victorious sounding. Then there is Arsinoe and Arsinoe was one of Cleopatra's sisters who she didn't really get along with that well. It's a Greek name and it has a really really nice meaning. It means woman with an uplifted mind. The next name I actually think is 100% usable and I wish it was used more and that is Lysandra and I think Lysandra would be the perfect way to honor someone named Sandra or even Cassandra. It's a beautiful beautiful name and it has a really nice meaning. It's a Greek name and it means one who is free and I don't think that you could go wrong in any way with the name Lysandra. Then there is Ereni, and Ereni is a Greek name that means peace. This is where names like Irina and Irene come from. This is the original Greek version. The next name I have is Tryphena. This one sounds very, very strong to me. Tryphena is a Greek name, and it means soft and delicate. And Tryphena was another one of Cleopatra's sisters. The next name is very, very usable. It's used quite a bit and that is Celine and this might make people think of Celine Dion but I really prefer this spelling um, to the way Celine Dion spells her name with a C and Celine is a Greek name that means moon and of course I couldn't talk about the Ptolemy family without talking about the name Cleopatra there were many queens named Cleopatra but I'm sure that the one you are thinking of is the one who had an affair with Julius Caesar and um, was the lover of Mark Antony as well. Probably the most famous from this family. And Cleopatra is a Greek name and it means glory of the father. So those are some names from the Ptolemy family. I know some of them were very, very out there and not that usable, but I do think that they are very interesting names. And the next family I'm going to talk about are the uh, Judeo-Claudians, which includes Julius Caesar and Augustus Caesar and some of the Roman emperors. So stay tuned for that. And thanks so much for watching, guys. I will talk to you soon. Bye.